Hiya, it's Maya. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. So essentially, I just wanted to have a little sit down here and explain what exactly is happening and what I'm doing, why I'm posting these videos, why I've been absent, even though I never really had a YouTube channel. But thank God that my parents told me not to post videos when I was, until I was 16, because boy, the ones before were really cringy. Nonetheless, I wanted to just come on here and tell you guys what's happening with this. Essentially, I have a two week, two week, oh my God, two month internship that's gonna be happening in Seoul, Korea. So this is my first time traveling internationally all by myself. And essentially, I wanted to document my adventures through vlogging here. Um, I've always loved taking photos and I have a really nice camera right now. I thought it would just be really fun to vlog instead of journal. Throughout my past travels, I typically journaled, but what I found through that is my head was always looking down. And instead, for this trip, a new adventure, a new life, a new journey, I wanted my head to be up and have something for you guys to take along with you as well. So to recap, what exactly is happening here is that right now I am in Seattle. I flew from Denver to Seattle and now I'll be flying from Seattle to Seoul. So just took about like a three hour flight. That was really nice. It was actually my first time in first class and that was really fun to experience. I did not know that you got fed. I may have had a little bit of a uh, curry chicken curry salad it was really good it was worth it i didn't have that much but i kind of you know kind of moved the chicken a little bit um why am i talking about this i have no idea <laughs> so if you're wondering how any of that information pertained to you it probably didn't i can tell you that what i have learned okay wait 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 are you guys seeing what i'm seeing i can tell you that Yes, it appears that there is chocolate on my face and I'm just gonna call it out now and that is what it is and I will not be refilming this clip. So, yes, hot cocoa. So far, picking up the camera a few times, is that I ramble a lot um, and I get sidetracked and I lose thought. So, I don't know how vloggers do it. I really don't. But come join me with this really crazy, rambly, improv, nothing, you know, whatever just comes out of my mouth. We'll just go with it. Um, and come along with me on this little adventure. Hello guys, I just landed in Seattle and I wanted to give you guys a room tour of this beautiful hotel. Okay, hopefully it's not too echoey in here, but I just wanted to show you guys the bathroom because I love this bright lighting. The bathroom has really orange lighting. And I thought this was really cool. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll re remember the shower when I look back on this vlog, but that's, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. <laughs> and then lastly, you may be wondering what the view looks like. Well. It's nothing too crazy. We are on the seventh floor, so we get a roof. But what is kind of fun is that they have an executive floor on the eighth, so we're gonna hopefully snag some free snacks and drinks. Oh my God, every time I try to film this, this stupid fan comes on, so hopefully it's not too loud in the video. But I just wanted to show off my little pushy neck pillow. There is really no point to this. I just thought he was cute and I wanted to show him off. But what I found when I was on the plane is that he has a hole in him. So, kind of disappointed by that because this is like the second time I've used him. But he's so cute and he worked really well because I actually took a nap, which typically I am not able to sleep on planes. But it's probably that and then the first class. They are literally the best. There they really are. are. There you are. I 
guys i have absolutely no clue where we're going but that's okay this is gonna be a fun little adventure and i'm looking for the fitness center right now but this hotel is really really large and i have no idea where it is cider is on the first floor so we are on a mission oh my gosh guys this is sick this is the ballroom literally in the middle of the hotel it's gorgeous and then with me i just came back from the executive lounge Oop just pop the lid but I got some hot cocoa there really wasn't much to film there they didn't have food so we'll try again later Found the gym it's right there oh my gosh wait there we go I just ordered a burrito from Grubhub thinking this four dollar burrito would be nothing and I got two of them because I thought they would be Taco Bell size and clearly they are huge <laughs> Hello guys okay isn't this fun this little camera thing right here I went to the executive lounge this cake you can see right here it was wasn't that good. Took one bite out of it. It's pretty bad cake. So, I may be eating it later. Otherwise, here it is for your viewing pleasure. It made it in the video. Um, aside from that, I don't really have that much exciting content for tonight. So, I'm just going to wash my face and get ready for bed. trusty little cat pouch. This baby goes everywhere with me and I am surprised it has not broke yet. And then what they have in this hotel is mouthwash. I've never seen little bottle mouthwash and I think this is a genius idea. I want to see more of this. Okay. Jeez, that's bright. Okay, so do we all remember earlier when I said the lighting was orange? Well, that was me. That was on me. I was stupid and I forgot to change the lighting. So no, the bathroom lighting in fact is amazing and is white and is bright. But on that note, I'm heading to bed. This was day one of my vlog and I'm gonna continue tomorrow and I guess technically I'll see you in Korea tomorrow. Kind of. Technically lands on Wednesday, but do you really count a day if you're in the plane? The sweatshirt. Ah, the little herbivore sweatshirt. Just, you know, thought I'd throw that in there. Good morning, everyone. So I just finished getting ready. I board at 10.55 and currently it is 8. So I got a good three hours to make it to the airport. Uh, hopefully that goes smoothly. But I thought I'd show you my outfit. And if you notice, yes, it is the same outfit I was wearing yesterday. So let's um, pretend, pretend I changed or something. But this is my airport fit. I got some new... Why was I going to say Jordans? I got some new Air Forces, some cozy pants. I thought I'd wear leggings, but I actually think cozy pants are going to be comfier. And then a little jacket in case it gets cold. In my bag, I have my little herbivore crew neck as well. But this is my airport fit for the day, and I'll see you at the airport. Okay, this is gonna be my last clip before we leave from Seattle. I just met up with Teresa. Vlog! Oh, don't get me stayed! No, we had 
vlogged. We just landed. Yay! We're so excited and this is our first first views of Seoul. <laughs> and 12 hours later, we have landed in Ichan. The airport is beautiful. That's the first thing I wanted to say is me and Teresa were so excited to see all the cute pastel colors and the cartoon characters that surrounded this gorgeous airport. Here's us claiming our bags, and then this is what the airport looks like right after security. This is where I actually got my SIM card, and then Teresa picked up a SIM card as well. So that's going to be a new experience with that one. Here is where we got our COVID test. Um, I have never seen them shove up the test so far. I was crying right after and bleeding, so that was an intense COVID test. <laughs> But then we moved on to our hotel, the Savoy Hotel. Here we are checking in. They helped us, they were really kind with that. But after that, we were free to go. So here is videos of us exploring Yongdong. I'm Audrey. I'm Carson. Josh. And our adventure for food continues. When we were released from our hotel, everyone was super hungry. So we spent the afternoon trying to look for food like ramen or pescatarian options for me and Carson. But unfortunately, that was a struggle in itself. But it was also a really great opportunity to find the cute little hot spots of Yangdong here. This was a bookstore that was literally flooding with books. And we checked out an underground shopping mall here, as well as going into a luxury department store that carried Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Gucci, you name it. They were all over the place. You got Kit Kat? I got way too many snacks. Nice. I got different dots. Nice. I got this. Ah, twinning. The cutest. The cutest. The cutest. Right. What did you, oh, you got nothing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sad. I'll grab something later. Let's see if this is aesthetic enough as um. Are you sure? I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. Oh, wow. Okay. And this is apple juice. Well, we think it's apple juice. There's it an says apple on it. Apple Apple Aid. Okay, let's try not to spill this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it smells like apple juice and it smells really good. That looks awesome. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that last clip was a bird that was like violently attacking Carson and John. Um, that was a crazy bird. I have never seen a bird fly so close to a table before and that bird was out for vengeance. Here is the inside of that mall I was talking about earlier with all the luxury stores. The fashion here in Korea is so cool. What I even noticed too is that in Lululemons, they even have a style called Asian Fit, which was interesting because I've never seen that before. Guys, the cat has a butthole. Look. Why is this so beautiful? This is literally just a ho like store. We're in a store, a restaurant store area, and this is gorgeous. And as we emerged from the mall, we noticed it was getting dark outside. Also today, I believe it was one of the national holidays for Korea. I think there's an election going on, so that's probably why a lot of places were closed. This is our food for tonight. We don't know what we ordered and we're just waiting for it to arrive. So, it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> Look at us all filming. All of us taking content. Content, baby content. I just wanted to come on and say this is what our fit. This is our fourth. It is precious. Our precious nectar of this meal. Thank you, please, please, please. You need water. Thank you. We all need. And this is the moment Carson knew kimchi was not for him. So this is the leftovers. <laughs> so we really tried. We just barely made it out of our... This is live I'm not footage. sure we have yet. <laughs> True. You'll walk through, Carson. 
this is absolutely terrifying and I just wanted to get this on camera. Men dandy socks with this um, penguin. This is the cutest lip balm ever and I just wanted to show you his little bear and the little peach. So cute. Okay, next we have come across what we thought was perfume and it is definitely condoms. So it's pretty funny. It's even Playboy and there's cat condoms. <laughs> Okay, and the best one of all, the screw and the nut, and the Marilyn Monroe, that's pretty cool too. Everything just remains to be the cutest. I love the strawberry milk. Look at this. Tiny baby Marvel characters. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. The packaging is just adorable here. We got Snoopy. This, on the other hand, does not look as cute. I'm just like not here for the packaging. Here is the ice cream. It's kind of not like the picture. Kind of sad. But it's black, so that's cool. Hello guys. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a tour of what the hotel looks like just before I get it too messy. So I was surprised to walk in and I found that they had two beds for us. Um, so I'm going to see what I can do about that. I don't, looks like I can't push it together, so maybe I'll just kind of switch beds or maybe use one for storage. But then over here, there's a little nook which has a safe and then the fridge and then a little sitting area. And then as for the view, there's nothing too crazy. It's just a wall, so can't really see too much. You can kind of see the street, I guess. But that's that. And yes, I have the ice cream in my hand still. The black icing, which is surprisingly super good. It's really milky and creamy. And then they had raspberry inside, which I was not expecting. So delicious ice cream. As for this, just a little mirror. Got the TV there. A little desk. Place to put shoes. The closet space here. And then the bathroom. Okay, everyone, this is the bathroom. It's going to be a little orangey here, but... This is what the shower looks like. There's a little toilet, and I think it's even heated. Um, I sat down on it, and it was like really warm, and there's this little control center right there. And then this is what they supplied for us, as well as a little mirror. But that's what the bathroom looks like. I also found it surprising that they have these little hand towels here, but they don't have any body towels, and I'm not sure if that's like something in Korea or if that's just this hotel, but I did buy another hand towel for myself. Good morning, you guys. It is currently 6.48 a.m. Let's see if I adjust. There we go. Yes, you read that correctly. 6.48. Um, I'm definitely not a morning person, and I didn't want to wake up at 6 in the morning, especially when I went to bed at midnight last night. But this is jet lag, and here we are, so we're just going to carry on with the day. I wanted to give a little recap of what happened yesterday as well. So right after I was dropped off at my hotel, I met up with Audrey, and through Audrey, I met John and Carson. So it was super fun to meet two more people, two more students um, from the ISA program. John and Carson, I believe they're both from Vermont, and they actually came back from Japan, which is really exciting. But I met up with them, we had a blast exploring Yongdong, um, and we had a crazy, crazy dinner experience. So both Carson and I, I are pescatarian, so it was an interesting experience to try to find uh, pescatarian food. We thought it, I thought it was going to be pretty easy. We ended up eating some very, very, very spicy kimchi and some other dishes that were just extremely, extremely spicy. We had uh, six pitchers of water and the waiter was laughing at us and it was it was nonetheless um, a very awakening diving just headfirst into Korea and everything. So that was a really great time and it was really nice meeting them. And then as for today, I'm going to be headed off to go get breakfast with Audrey and Teresa and we will see where the adventures take me. We have a couple orientation things to do, as well as tomorrow we're gonna be finding our workplace. So we'll see how the vlogs are for that um, and take you guys along with this adventure. And on that note, I just wanted to end off my first vlog here, the come with me to Korea. But I had a blast filming this and I hope you, future Maya, enjoy this style of content rather than journaling. But with that, I hope you guys liked everything, and feel free to like and subscribe if you want to continue seeing my journey in Korea. Bye, guys.